What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I want to talk about a lot of the things that's been going on in Warzone as of late. As you guys know, I'm not a massive Battle Royale fan. So when it comes to Warzone, I'll play a little bit here and there. I played a fair bit when it was first released. But as of late, I really haven't been playing it much at all. But I know a lot of people out there playing it still are concerned about all the cheating. And a lot of people are concerned about the cheating going forward into Black Ops Cold War. Considering Warzone is going to be something that's going to carry over from Call of Duty title to Call of Duty title. Um, I know it was kind of frustrating when I when, when the cheating started happening when I was playing a good bit. And it, it, it did kind of get on your nerves. It, it's kind of annoying to get into a lobby with a bunch of people that are cheating, that kind of thing. Uh, Activision has just recently banned around 20,000 more accounts. Uh, they're claiming they have banned several hundred thousand uh, over the period uh, of the game being you know released or Warzone being released. But overall, I think it's kind of concerning to a lot of people that this much cheating is going on, considering it, it does not really seem like the anti-cheat in the game is really that good, I guess. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing for this for uh, Black Ops Cold War, but overall, I think a lot of people are kind of getting concerned that it's going to ruin the game for, you know, for the people that just enjoy playing just Warzone. And I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that play just Warzone, even when Black Ops Cold War is released. They might play the regular game a little bit. They might not even buy the game. They may just play Warzone still. So I, I think this is kind of a, a thing that needs to be addressed by Activision. I think they need to be a little bit more uh, informative when it comes to exactly what they're doing to up the, you know, cheat system, you know, their anti-cheat system, whatever they're going to do with that. But I think that's one of the big concerns with a lot of players. that They just don't want to get into lobbies where players are just continuously cheating and, you know, things like that going on. And I will say, you know, that was part of why I don't really play a lot. Like I said, I'm not a huge, a huge fan of Battle Royale games anyway. But also kind of you put not being a massive fan of them and you put all the cheating and all the other junk going on kind of on top of that. It just makes it not really enjoyable in my opinion. Now, a lot of people also have been claiming there's people cheating in multiplayer. I'm not 100% sure on that. I have been in some lobbies in multiplayer that have been cross-play that have been kind of crazy sometimes. Um, you, you often kind of wonder exactly what's going on. But it's not as obvious, in my opinion, as it has been in things like, um, you know, things like Warzone. But overall, I'm just kind of curious. Are you guys still playing Warzone? Did you get tired of it? Uh, did, did you get frustrated with it because of the cheating system? Do you think there needs to be a better system implemented before... Uh, Cold War is released. Do you think Treyarch's going to do a better job with this? I'm not sure exactly how they're going to handle all of this. Uh, Treyarch got a lot put on their plate this year because of all the different stuff going on with Sledgehammer not making a game. So they got pretty much thrown into the fire, if you would say. I guess you could say, uh, you know, by saying, you know, we need you to make a new game, make a new story, make a new zombies. We also need you to implement Warzone into what you're doing. We also need to make you, we also need you to make this game for every single platform out there, you know, uh, old gen Xboxes, old gen PS4s. Uh, of course, new-gen consoles, uh, the new-gen Xbox Series S, the Series X, the PS5. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff going on for Treyarch. So I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Do you think that they're going to get more stuff done with Warzone? I know Raven's supposed to pretty much be handling Warzone from what I understand. But I'm curious just overall, have you guys really given up on Warzone? Are you still playing it daily? Or is it something you just kind of play here and there and your brother would play, you know, like multiplayer? Personally, I'm ready for Cold War because... I really do enjoy the 6v6 so far. I like the 6v6 and the alpha, and I hope the beta this week proves to be just as enjoyable when it comes to the 6v6 modes. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.